Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your social study teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your social study class. My dear students, as you know that we are on unit number 3, State and Government, and today I am going to give you a complete review of this unit. These are all the student learning outcomes. Alhamdulillah, we have covered them in uh, the lectures that I have delivered, and today we will revise all the SLOs. So, my dear students, uh, let's start with lecture number 1. In lecture number 1, we discussed about a group of people living in a geographical area under a system of government is called a state. So, we have state or government. Ke mein padha tha, whereas, a government is formed based on a group of elected people via general election um, to run the state is known as a government. So, my dear students, uh, this is what we did in lecture number 1. And then in lecture number 2, we discussed about... Um, the constitution. So, what is a constitution? A set of basic principles and laws to run a country is known as a constitution. Then in lecture number 3 and 4, we discussed about rights and responsibilities of citizens under the constitution of 1973. In the constitution of 1973, every citizen is granted fundamental rights and responsibilities that he is bound to fulfill. Then in lecture number 5, we discussed that there are three organs of the government that is legislature, executive and judiciary. In lecture number 6, we discussed that rules and laws are made to organize an individual and as well as a society. In lecture number 8, we discussed a leader is a person who has a vision and influence people towards a specific goal. In lecture number 9, we discussed that the general election is a system in which people cast a vote to elect members of provincial and national assemblies. So, my dear students, in lecture number 10, we discussed about the political party. So, a political party is a group of people with the same ideology. And we also discussed about the manifesto, which are the aims and policies made by the political party before the general elections. So, my dear students, now is the time for evaluation. For evaluation, you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print from bio teacher. Write down your name and your class and then I will read the questions and then you will solve it by your own. State and government, differentiate between state and government. So, here in the given column, you will differentiate between what is the state and what is government. Then, name the basic characteristics of the constitution of 1973. So, you will only name the basic characteristics, okay. Do not explain them, only name the basic characteristics. Then, name the organs of the government. Then, question number four, what are the qualities of a leader? So, you have to write down the qualities of a leader in the given space. So, next you will do, define the terms following terms what is legislature constitution state and government so my dear students pause the video and quickly complete your assessment sheet i hope everybody has finished it quickly submit it to your teacher for marks and evaluation so my dear students this is all i hope you have learned a lot of things from this unit keep everybody around you safe have a good day thank you so much and allah hafiz